but some great deals if you come to the game on a weekday. Chad Sasaki, cross ice speed over to Christoph Tellier. It was behind them, so Grabel will throw it back into the zone. Sasaki, nice little crunch of a hit there by Andrew Bigger. Lucas Souter looking for a backhand pass in his slot, doesn't have it. Grabel fires on, that one blocked in front fearlessly by Chase Dubois. Pinching in is Sasaki on the right side. He'll take it. Chance Sasaki trying to walk in. They stuff it in the other way. Christophe Tellier and the Wenatchee Wild have tied the game up at two. Sasaki back in his own zone as they're trying to stir up the rush again. Grabel, he takes a hit there from Mike Hardman. Matt Dorsey backhands it over to Gachevsky. Gachevsky blocked in front by a Warriors player. Hardman trying to settle the puck down. He'll just ring it the other way over to Willie Rhyme. Rhyme, good heads up play to backhand it. Now comes Mike Hardman to speed. He's got Max Polaka with him. Mike Hardman scores! Very nice. He may have one of the best releases in the BCHL. Union College committed. Mike Hardman at the second of the game, and it's three to two. There's that, there's that sniper mentality I talked to you about. Chase, a nice pass by Willie Ryan at his blue line. Caught Mike Hardman coming through the neutral zone. He set up, he had a bit of space, and uh, when you give a sniper that kind of time and space, so I'll tell you, as a goaltender, that's a really tough position to be in, and uh, Mike Hardman scored a beautiful goal. On Jolly Wall, winning the face off here. Mike Hardman will start up as that number one power play unit is now on the ice for West Kelowna. Minute three seconds remaining in the power play time. Arm Jollywell through the neutral zone, throws the puck in, rings around over to Lucas Cullen. Cullen can't get to it. And the Wild will have a great chance here to clear, and they will. Josh Arnold will clear for the Wenatchee Wild. So Mike Hardman will have to start up back behind his own net. 40 seconds of Cal Tire power play time remaining. We're entering the 13 minute, 15 second mark of the Castanet third period. Chase Dubois throws it in. Mike Hardman's there to get to the puck first. Parm Dollywall over to Lucas Cullen. Cullen has it. And the Warriors will get set up here with 23 seconds of power play time remaining. Wyatt Head has it at the point. Head over to Dubois, cross ice. Parm Dollywall, what a pass, what a goal. Lucas Cullen, his second of the night. The West Coloda Warriors have capitalized on the power play both times tonight. It's four to two. Mike Hardman wins a draw off a second effort. Puck continues to be played here in Wenatchee's zone. What a save made by Austin Park, a nominee for save of the season. Wow, he slides across and just gets a piece of the Parm Dollywell shot. Gavin Tilsley. Over to Mike Hardman. Hardman to Sam Anderson. Anderson. Looking for a man, Mason Ritchie, cross ice speed, Wyatt Head. Andrew Biggers has an open lane. He'll fire on through traffic. Who has it? Rebound by Mason Ritchie. He scores! That's good to see. That's good to see. He scored the very first goal of the season for the West Kelowna Warriors. And he's back at it again. The young man. They're making some noise out in Terrace, BC for Mason Ritchie. It's 5-2. to two. That is so nice to see. Really is. And winning the draw, it looks like, are the Warriors. Quick shot, Matt Kowalski scores. That's awesome for Matt Kowalski. It's not, it's not going to be called a power play goal. It's an even strength goal, technically, but the Wenatchee Wild player was not able to get back yet. So, so it will be even strength. The best one Warriors will go two for four on the man advantage yeah. this evening. Practically it was a power play, but technically it was not. 